As the Amber Heard vs. Johnny Depp defamation trial has come to an end, a clip of the Aquaman actress partying after obtaining $7 million from her divorce settlement has gone viral on social media. The actress said in 2016 that she would be donating the total amount to charities, which remains undone. Netizens can now point out where the millions were squandered. Amber teamed up with her sister Whitney and they both went on a partying spree. Do you think the actress should face a separate charge? charge for not honoring her pledge? And when and where and with whom did she blow the seven million? Let's find out. In 2016, the Aquaman star ended her three-month legal battle with Johnny Depp as part of their official separation agreement. Amber Heard received a skin-stretching $7 million after claiming that she was a victim of domestic violence and suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. In a clip now viral, the 36-year-old celebrated with her sister Whitney Enriquez in 2017 after obtaining the remaining portion of the settlement money. The actress was seen dancing to Justin Bieber's Sorry. The same video was uploaded to Instagram and the post was captioned, Sorry, not sorry. Since the Instagram post went viral on social media, many found it tough to believe that Amber was a physical and sexual assault victim. Netizens find it hard to accept that the actress had PTSD either. Someone somewhere saved Amber's video dated February 24, 2017, in which the actress and her sister Whitney Enriquez can be seen partying in the car they got from the settlement. Her Instagram was full of such videos, most of which were deleted and not used in the latest trial. In the 2016 agreement, Amber was awarded a $7 million divorce settlement along with some other monetary payments. While Depp faced a lot of problems in his professional career after the divorce, his ex-wife enjoyed a lavish lifestyle of being not sorry with the divorce settlement sought in the name of charity. In 2014, the Paranoia star was reportedly earning around $40,000 per year and was able to afford a decent lifestyle with a luxurious car. The car in the video is unidentifiable, but apparently it's a 2015 Dodge Journey. Amber was making around $250,000 from various endeavors, but spent almost $210,000 in 2014. Her biggest role since that day was playing Mira in Aquaman. She reportedly made around $5 million from her Mira role. During the hearing, Amber denied lying about making $7 million in donations to two charities from her divorce payout from Johnny Depp, despite damning video evidence played in court in the former couple's high-stakes defamation trial. The Aquaman actress was subjected to an intense grilling under cross-examination from Depp's attorney where she claimed that she had been unable to complete the payments because of legal costs from her ex-husband suing her. I still fully intend on honoring all of my pledges, she testified. I would love him to stop suing me so I can. When the couple's multi-million divorce settlement was reached in 2016, Amber pledged to split the entire payout equally between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. But now it seems that the ACLU was herself and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles was her sister Whitney. Terrence Doherty, the chief operating officer and general counsel of the ACLU, testified earlier at the trial that the charity had so far received less than half of the $3.5 million promised. Doherty said that $350,000 had been paid directly by the actress, $100,000 paid through Depp, $500,000 paid by Elon Musk through a donor-advised fund, and that $350,000 was also paid via a donor-advised fund, which is also believed to be from Musk, for a total donation of $1.3 million. The court was shown a 2016 email that detailed a 10-year plan for Amber to make the donation. The ACLU executive testified that the charity had not received any money from Amber since 2019 because the actress was having financial difficulties. In court, jurors were shown a clip from Amber's appearance on the Danish TV show RTL late night in October 2018, where she said that $7 million was donated in total. Again, here she lied to the public. I split the amount between the ACLU and the CHLA. ACLU is a prominent nonprofit organization in the U.S. and they work on behalf of marginalized communities on the ground and in legislative reform, she clarified on the show. I wanted nothing. Depp star attorney Camille Vasquez pressed the question over the statement saying, 
Sitting here today, Ms. Heard, you still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity, isn't that right? Amber argued that she uses the term pledged and donated interchangeably. I use pledge and donation synonymously, she testified, insisting that she does intend to fulfill those obligations. The mother of one also likened making the donations to buying a house through mortgage payments over time. I pledge the entirety to charity. When you say you buy a house, you don't pay for the entire house at one time. You pay it over time, she argued. When Amber blamed her inability to fulfill her commitment to the defamation lawsuit, Depp's attorney pushed back, saying that 13 months had passed between her receiving the full divorce settlement and the lawsuit being filed. Obviously, it's within these 13 months that she went partying, splashing the $7 million between booze and more booze. I made the pledge. I wanted to be very clear. I pledged the entirety. I haven't been able to fulfill those pledges because I've been sued, she said. She added, Johnny sued me. Vasquez told her she had the entire $7 million for 13 months before Depp sued her, and she chose not to pay it to the charities she pledged it to, accusing her of wanting to keep some of the money for herself. The final installment, a payment of $2.3 million, was paid on February 1, 2018, the court heard. Depp filed the defamation lawsuit against his ex-wife in 2019. Of the money so far donated, Depp's attorney clarified that $500,000 payments to the ACLU came from her new boyfriend, Elon Musk. Amber responded that, I don't know if he was a new boyfriend at the time. She testified that the Tesla billionaire made a donation to the ACLU in her honor, but insisted that it did not count towards her pledge. Musk and Amber were believed to have dated on and off between 2016 and 2018, and the SpaceX box was named on her witness list for the trial, but failed to show up, probably fearing the backlash he would have received from the public. Depp's business manager outlined in court Amber Heard's escalating financial demands during her divorce from Depp. Edward White, who has worked as Depp's accountant and business manager for the past six years, delivered testimony during the 11th day of the ex's defamation trial in Fairfax, Virginia, where he detailed the costs arising from their acrimonious split. The Rum Diary co-stars, who wed in 2015, had their union officially dissolved in January 2017, months after Amber filed for divorce. She was initially looking for a consideration of $4 million, but the demand continually increased, White said during direct questioning from Depp's attorney. It went from $4 million to $5 million, then it went from $5 million to $5.5 million, then it went to $7 million, and then it was $7 million, she said, required, demanded that Mr. Depp also pay $500,000 to her attorneys. And her demands didn't stop there. So the next demand was that all of the community liabilities that were unresolved, $13.4 million that Mr. Depp had to pay those liabilities in its entirety, White went on. White's explanation appears to show that Amber tactfully planned to swindle Depp with the sole motive of spending the monies with her sister and those close to her. When asked how the payments were made, White said they were initially contemplated to be paid directly to the charities, the Children's Hospital Los Angeles for the benefit of the children who require severe medical service, and to the ACLU. But during the course of the negotiations, one of the demands, because the contract changed, was that the payments be made direct to the actress. After detailing that the payments totaling $6.8 million were made directly to Amber in installments over the course of 2017 and into early 2018, White then went on to discuss the further economic benefits the actress saw in the settlement. Mr. Depp was required to pay $500,000 in Ms. Hurt's counsel, which he did in a timely, respectful manner, White testified. With all these figures capped by the photo showing Amber and her sister partying following her nasty divorce from Depp, it's hard to deny that she was a gold digger, a name that few insiders of Depp have called her before. Do you think Amber was intent on making money out of Depp from the word go? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. In our upcoming videos, we'll be bringing you more views and reviews from the just concluded case. So be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't get to miss any of them.